I like my sexy headies, baby heads and afros. I like my Negro nose with Jackson 5 nostrils. And yes, I've got hot sauce in my bag. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Vicky J and I am finally doing it. I am here. I am here with my drugstore favorites. Say what now? Vicky J has drugstore favorites? Yes, babies. I have drugstore favorites. Now, it's not a lot, but I got them. So let's get right into it. So one of the first things that I ever caught from the drugstore when I was on a mission to learn about makeup were brushes, specifically e.l.f. brushes. Now, I have gone through quite a few e.l.f. brushes trying to figure out the ones that I like, the ones that work for me, and these are it. These, and this one right here, which I'll talk about in just a moment. So these are the basic um, eye brushes from e.l.f. These are a dollar each. If you are out here trying to learn how to do your eye makeup and you don't want to invest a lot of money in Sigma or Morphe, even though that's not totally expensive, it's like a moderate range of pricing, but if you just really want to learn and you, you know, don't mind tossing them out when you're ready to get some more expensive brushes, then e.l.f. is absolutely bay. I'm just going to go through these really quickly. So this one right here is the uh, is an eyeshadow brush, but it's a very kind of like short stubby brush and I actually use this to smudge even though they call this one the smudger I actually use this to pack shadow on it just works better for me but yes this is an eye shadow brush so you lay shadow onto the mobile lid or as I do use it to smudge out your lower lash line this yep this is actually the eye shadow brush so it's a good thing I use it for that this is just for packing shadow onto your mobile lid and that's exactly what I used it for this is the smudger okay sorry about that you guys so this one here is also kind of short right but it's a little bit longer than the first one I showed you and this is actually the smudger and you use it to smudge out your lower lash line to kind of smoke it out or to blend your um, product on the lower lash line in as I have done today this one right here is a blending brush and this is just for kind of blending your crease and transition colors together. This one here is a crease brush. This is for depositing product into your crease. Nice and deep up in there. All the way up in there like that. It's also a great pencil brush. Again, you can use this for smudging out the lower lash line for really smoky eye looks. This is a little detailer sponge brush. What are they calling it specifically? They're calling it a smudge eye sponge. I use this in the tear duct area a lot and it is great for like putting highlight in your inner tear duct. And this one here is, I can't really read it. I'm gonna call it a detail brush. It's just a really small kind of pencil style brush, but it's also kind of blunt at the top so you can use it as a crease brush. If you have like a really small eye space, you can use it as a detail brush for the inner tear duct area or you can use it as a pencil brush to smudge out your lower lash line. And then from their Pro Collection, which cost you a whopping $3 per brush, this is the Powder Brush or a Flat Top Kabuki if you want to call it that. I actually use this as an all over powder brush for my mineralized skin finish from MAC or another drugstore product that I'm going to show you which is CoverGirl Queen Matte Press Powder. I am the color Golden Medium or Q415 and this was my first all over powder. I really like this. I'm actually wearing it today over my mineralized skin finish because it wasn't dark enough to take care of the um, situation I had going on under here. But anyway, yes, as you can see, I have hit pan. I love this stuff. I actually will buy this again. I like this product a lot and it's really honestly the only thing I own from CoverGirl. All right, so let me hop back over to brushes. Real techniques, how could I possibly talk about drugstore faves without talking about real techniques? These are brushes that you keep. Elf are brushes that you use for practice. These brushes are everything. Okay, so let's start off with the baby. This is the one who, that has been here. I did not flip y'all off, I apologize. Um, this right here is my blush brush and it is absolutely fantastic. It like deposits in a stippling motion and you can sweep it. 
so you can also use this for highlight if you're that kind of girl <laughs> if you are a high beams kind of girl but it is a blush brush and that's exactly what I use it for what's really great about these version this version of real techniques is that it does have this kind of pedestal um, placement like a flat bottom and you can just boop, and you, can't, you can't see that you can place it right side up so that you don't mess up your table I happen to have white furniture so you don't mess up your furniture with the product that is on your brushes it's very thoughtful and so I do have two more I have two eye brushes from their essential eyes kit I no longer have the rest I threw them out because I only like these two this is probably smudged it all nope the deluxe classic brush and this is a fantastic brush for setting your eye base with um with product or even just you know um doing your highlight i know it's a little big but you know i have a lot of lid space up there so i like to use it as a highlight brush this is a great blending brush it's very kind of soft and fluffy so it's fantastic for blending transition and highlight colors together i love it and then from the elite collection which you can find at ulta not the drugstore but since ulta has a drugstore side i'm gonna include in favorites fight me so i have the 100 and the 301 this is a contour brush this is an all over powder brush but you can also use it as a contour brush because it's kind of like flat like this you can use it for bronzer or contour just like that these are beautiful they are also kind of up there in price these are in the 20 dollar range now Let's talk about nails. I have about six of these and I really love Essie nail polishes. They are kind of like a thin formula so you do need two coats to get it to be like opaque and get the true color payoff but I don't mind it because these are actually really chip resistant. This one in particular is my fave which is why I'm showing this one to you today and it is Chin Chili. This is not limited edition. You can totally get this right now. So I would definitely get it if I were you, either on the, um, if it's not in store, check out the SC website. I'm pretty sure you can find this somewhere. It's really amazing. It's only seven bucks and you'll have it forever. Now I mentioned eye bases earlier and one that I really love is from NYX. It's the eyeshadow base in what they're calling ESB03. And this is just a flesh tone color. Um, it's not like as you can see it's a pretty kind of like tan color and I like it I would liken it to the soft ochre pots but it is by no means as opaque but it's the same idea it's supposed to neutralize your eye to place eyeshadow so that it's like kind of like pops off of your eyelids I've had this for a really long time a little goes a long way you can use your fingers or you can use a brush to apply this I'm not wearing any today, but let's go ahead and talk about lashes. I have two lash brands that I really enjoy, Ardell and Kiss. Kiss and Ardell are great for beginners because they're inexpensive. And I think for this five pack, it was around maybe six, seven bucks. That's like a little over a dollar per. And you get, um, I believe in this pack you get, nope, it's this pack. You get the applicator. See that in the corner? but um these are the number 11s this is a really popular set from kiss and these are the demi wispies i also have the wispies which are like the most popular ones because they're the most realistic looking uh, but the demi wispies i like to stack them with the wispies to create like a nice kind of subtle drama to the eye the 11s i can wear by themselves they're pretty dramatic on their own for every day bouncing back over to nails i'm going to talk to you guys about the holy grail of top coats like sally henson gel top coat it's it's just it's just amazeballs this is seriously like i have i have other top coats you guys and i don't use them because this is the best it's a one coat it's nice and thick and it says here two times volume it's very thick and it's the most like professional shiny teflon built top coat that you will ever use i believe it's around like 10 bucks and you're gonna again you're gonna have it forever i had my first bottle for about six months because i was really going at it but you can totally get like a long shelf life out of these for and for ten dollars that's that's a steal all right y'all 
let's talk about lips they are last on my list and I cannot talk about drugstore faves without mentioning Milani I don't have a ton of Milani products anymore because I gave away some of my eyeshadows because um, I really like their individual shadows and um, I have some of their lip liners but that they're not my faves so they're not on the faves I love their lipsticks though and these in particular uh, these two in particular I really enjoy this is um, pretty natural and violet vault this one is gorgeous oh my god I'm swatching for you that's violet vault and then pretty natural these are very moisturizing um, I will say that you have to reapply throughout the day quite a bit if you're eating or you know kissing or whatever but as you can see you can even see right there that they're extremely moisturizing so that was violet volt and this is pretty natural this is great with a brown liner for that everyday natural nude lip for women of color of course we have NYX NYX lip products you hear about them like all the time right um, these two in particular are the liquid suede and this is my favorite formula from NYX I have Stone Fox and Kitten Heels and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them both for you all right so here we are this is Stone Fox and this is Kitten Heels just two really great like bold lip colors I love Stone Fox and I wear it more often than Kitten Heels but Kitten Heels is a fantastic universal red they are very comfortable liquid lipsticks they are not transfer resistant but they last for at least three hours before reapplication obviously if you're eating you're gonna need to reapply the center of your lip but they are just they're, they're really nice and long wearing for a moisturizing liquid lipstick and that's it you guys those are my drugstore favorites if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends let me know in the comment section which are your drugstore favorites and why also if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe I post videos three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday and thanks again for watching you guys I will see you next time I hope you like the new setup by the way this is how I'm gonna try to do it from now on <laughs> all right you guys bye mm -hmm.